This is John for the Everyday Fan Sports. This morning, I have the pleasure of being on the beat with Northwestern catcher Jordan Rudd. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am great. It's it's great to talk. Oh, you know, first of all, congratulations on the Big Ten title. Thank you so much. We're really excited. Two in a row. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's really, really cool for our team and really exciting for the program. So when did you start playing softball and when did you realize you were you know, pretty good at softball? Um, you know, I actually played baseball for a while because my dad was a big baseball fan. And then when I was around like 11, I believe, 10 or 11, my dad switched me to softball. Um, and I kind of have always liked it. I don't know if there was like a moment that really kind of hit me that I was in love with the sport, but I just kept playing it and just loved how the game was. And I just kind of stuck with it. Were you always a catcher or did you move around at all? Um, you know, at one point I was a pitcher, <laughs> um, I was a third baseman, a first baseman. I've kind of done it all, um, but I've always caught along the way with it. So, And I saw you've got a bit of a gymnastics background. Does yeah. that help you in the position? Yeah, actually, it really does. You know, um, knock on wood, like it really helps my hips. It's um, helped my mobility, um, really helped me be able to squat for as long as I have. And what do you like better, like hitting the game winning home run or maybe catching like a shutout? You know, that's a hard decision to make. It's always nice to, you know, hit in the winning runs and the game be over. But, um, you know, I am i can't really choose one or the other. I think they're all very unique and very fun. As long as we win the game, I don't care how. Well, you're one of the leaders on your team in, in pretty much everything offensively. You're, you're among the top few. So I, I always wondered, like, during batting practice, do you guys try to hit homers onto uh, the roof of uh, Welsh Ryan? You know, it's not our goal, but it's really like fun when we do like get near the roof. Um, no, we usually just try to hit, you know, like work on what we're um, struggling on and um, just make sure we're like keeping everything on the line. And I, you had a, a unique honor. You won the gold glove. You had a a message from one of my all time favorites, Johnny Bench. I mean, I'm a lot older than you, but when I grew up, Johnny Bench was the man at that position. What did both of those, the award and Johnny's um, statement, what what do those mean to you? You know, speaking on like the Johnny Bench Award, that was one of the coolest things ever because my dad's a big Johnny Bench fan. And um, we actually like kind of, I learned a lot of my style from my dad from him. So it's actually kind of cool. It's kind of full circle um, there. So to me, that was just something really rewarding for my family and I. Um, and with the gold glove, you know, I think it's something that's really great for our sport. And I'm really glad they brought that into college spot, softball. Um, and I think it's an honor that, you know, Northwestern now has a gold glove and it's something that we can really build from and grow from. And could you talk a little bit about the coaching staff, uh, how special they are? I mean, I've I've known the, the Drohan sisters for years. Um, uh, Michelle, I've, I know, I've known her since her days at the Chicago Bandits. Could you talk a little bit about what makes that staff so special? You know, I think they're all so different, which is what actually like really works for us. You know, Kate's really, you know, the serious one keeps us in line and really, you know, helps us learn a lot of little pieces of the game that a lot of us didn't even know coming into college. And I think, you know, Carol, we consider her the fun one <laughs> and she really keeps the game light for us and really fun and really helps us with our hitting a ton. Um, you know, sometimes I'm like, what do you think I'm going to get before I go to bat? And Carol's the one that's just like, calm your mind look one way or the other and go for it, like go all in on your plan. And I think, um, you know, with Michelle and Tony and all them, Michelle's been great for our pitching staff and our catchers. Um, I think what she brings to the table is a lot of experience, you know, from the bandits and from Oklahoma. And I think um, she has done really well at just giving us a new perspective on the game that, you know, not everyone has, you know, she's been there. She's been at the bottom of the dog pile at the world series. So I think, you know, her experience and, um, you know, her way of play is very helpful for us. And I think all of that combined has been amazing and unique ways to learn, you know, if one day I need someone to lighten the mood, I go to Carol, you know, and it's really great how awesome they all work together and how different they are. And you've played for five years. You've, you've been very durable. Aside from the, the, the Johnny Bench Award, the Gold Glove and the titles, could you give us a couple like underrated, really cool moments that you've had there or memorable moments that you've had? You know, honestly, I think some of the coolest moments have just been the wins that we've had, honestly, you know, not even personally anything that I've done, but just wins like, you know, when we beat Oregon, you know, 2022, a couple games like that where they were really gritty games. Um, and I think Arizona State will go down as like some of my all time favorite games um, where to me, you know, it's not the awards and that it's just the fact that 
wow, like we gritted that out and we worked so hard for that. We were exhausted after that. And I think that will go down as like one of my favorite times ever. And what was the experience like in the playoffs last year? Um, you know, I know you faced a very tough opponent. You guys did very well, though. What was the experience like for you to go through all that? Um, honestly, it was really unique because we were all focused on ourselves. So like we knew like Arizona State was good. We knew that going in. And I think it was one of those where it's like we just got to focus on each other and our own game and just um, playing ourselves almost where – it made it a little easier for us and we just wanted to win for each other. So playing a good competitor like that, if you focus on the other team too much, it makes it too hard for you. If you just focus on, I'm going to do this for the next person in line, it really helps you. And I think that's what really got us through Arizona state for sure. And how cool is it to, to actually, uh, when Northwestern hosted, so you guys were in the playoffs hosting at the J. I I mean, as a fan, it was, it was amazing. How cool is it as a player? It was really cool. I mean, you bring in all these other teams here and it's just like, this is our home. This is where we play, you know, and I think it's really unique because the J has so much history, you know, and we had Sharon here this weekend, um, Sharon Drysdale, and it was really cool just having that experience around um, and learning from her. I mean, the J is just so historic and I think a lot of people don't realize that. And it's just so cool having other teams come there to this place that has so many memories, so many great um, teams wins. And I, I love it. And did you get a chance to talk to Coach Drysdale? Yeah, yeah, we all did. And it was really cool. She's so smart and so funny. Um, and it's really cool learning from someone that, you know, saw the game before Title IX even came about. And I think that's something really cool for us. Now, recently you were part of uh, the WPF's first draft. I believe it was the first college draft. You got drafted by the USSA Pride for the Women's Professional Fast Pitch League. Uh, did you know that was coming? Was there any discussion of that? How did that all happen? And what what are your thoughts on that? You know, it was all kind of a whirlwind. And um, I did not know that part was happening. So it was really exciting. Um, and I was watching the draft, you know, just kind of hoping and praying. And um, it was really cool being picked by them. And I'm really grateful for that opportunity. Um, you know, not many people get it. And I think it's something that's so grateful. Like, I'm so grateful for it, and I'm so blessed to be able to have this opportunity. And do you know the uh, and the roster? They had, they had a couple of really good catchers. Do you know um, like how that works? Like, is there a training camp that you have to go to to make the roster? Do you know what the, their status is? Do you know like how that works yet? Um, I'm not for sure. You know, I can't talk them to them at all because of NCAA rules. Oh, but, um, okay. I do know that you know they have their group of catchers, and certain catchers catch at certain times, and other ones don't. So it's all about you know like just working hard and being able to get on the field, hopefully. Well, I've done my research. I know that they play in, I believe it's July 20th to the 22nd. They play in Peoria. I will be there covering the team. I'm yeah. hoping to see you there because that would be really cool to, to, to see you behind the plate or even just on the field. That would be just like so cool. Um, do you plan on pursuing, with or without the WPF, did, did you plan on pursuing softball professionally? Yeah, you know, I've always wanted to play professionally I never knew if it was realistic for me you know I just I never knew and um I want to play professionally so for sure it's um, a great opportunity for me and I'm really excited about it and when you're not playing softball when you're not focused on the field when you're not focused on studies etc what, what do you like to do to just get away from everything <laughs> You know, it's really funny. I don't have much of a getaway, but my getaway is kind of just like relaxing and doing absolutely nothing. Um, I don't like to do too much extra where I still have to think a lot, <laughs> which sounds kind of crazy and a little lazy, but like I just, my getaway from school and softball is doing nothing. And it's kind of just relaxing and finding something to do. Like right now, like I'm planning a wedding. And so that's kind of my getaway where it's like, now I get to be kind of like artsy, I call it. <laughs> um, so I use a different part of my brain. So that's kind of my little getaway right now. And post, post playing softball, do you have any plans for uh, your profession? Um, I would really love to be a college coach. Um, so I plan to hopefully pursue that um, soon. So we'll see. <laughs> well, that'd be exciting. Yeah. But then you'd have to deal with me, you know, interviewing you as a coach down the line. So <laughs> that'd be fun. I don't care. <laughs> well, I know you've got uh, one last weekend of games. You're playing, uh, I believe, at Rutgers this weekend. Doesn't really matter. You guys have a clinch. You'd probably take all three anyway, just because. Um, do you know when the first playoff game is? Um, for Big Ten, it would be next Thursday, I believe. I believe well, Wednesday, Thursday. 
I know they haven't announced yet, but I, I, I'm betting there'll be some games at the J. I'm hoping somewhere one of the. Oh uh, yeah, for regionals. Uh, I hope. I don't know. Um, I think the selection show is either next Sunday. I believe. I keep forgetting the dates. Everything's kind of spinning right now. <laughs> <laughs> I completely understand. That's why we encourage everyone to check out Northwestern softball on social media or their website because that's where you can get all the information. And and I certainly will be following. Jordan, really, I appreciate your time. I wish you a lot of luck. Before I let you go, is there any place you want to tell your followers to look for you on social media or anything? Um, yeah, if anyone can follow me on my Instagram, Jordan underscore Rudd. Um, you know, I have a lot of cool stuff on there. Um, I'm also a big fan of the Valley Training Gloves. Um, I use those, and I'm really excited about my partnership with them. Jordan, it's been a pleasure, really, and, and thank you. It's been a pleasure following your career for five seasons at Northwest, and you, you've just been outstanding on and off the field. And I wish you a lot of luck and hopefully we'll see you in the finals. But either way, you've had a great career and I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate you having me on. Thank you. You have a great day. Thanks, you too.